Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. All depends on what part of the world you're in today. So I'm here to address a video that I saw with that comedian girl. Um, her name is It's Thakina. Yes, her. She made a video um, about the farm workers in Canada that was being um, mistreated and living in a um, deplorable condition. And she really um, went on about it, about, you know, you guys, it, you know, it's like saying you guys have no right to speak up. You guys have no right to protest. You guys have no right to be causing an uproar. If you don't like it, come here, yard, come here, yard, come here, yard, right? And she even went as far as saying them they're supposed to, they should have dipped the wall at Uno and ban Uno from ever coming back. It's the Kina. I'm not here to bash you and I'm not against you, but if you're going to stick to comedy, you stick to comedy. If you're going to talk about serious issues, then you need to talk about serious issues and keep your platform going down that route. But you cannot mix the two because certain things is not funny. So certain things is not um, to make a light of or to make a joke of. And I think the situation in Canada is a very serious um, situation. And that should not be taken lightly. These people, at the end of the day, they're human beings. And if they're going to go on farm work, not because they want the work, not because they need the money, don't mean to say they have to be mistreated or put in deplorable condition to live in, especially if they're paying for it. It's not even being offered to them for free. I'm sure you would not like your brother, your sister, your uncle, your mother to be in that same condition and be in that same problem. And to say, if you don't like the condition that you need to just come back to your yard. Sometimes it's not that simple. I don't know exactly how the farm working program work, but I would think it's a contract that you sign and you sign a contract stating that you're going to give them this X amount of months or this X amount of years of your time. And I'm not sure if you break that contract, if there is any consequences. Again, I'm not familiar with the whole procedures. I'm only assuming that there has to be some form of contract that you had to sign. And sometime in the fine prints of those contracts, which many of us don't take the time to read any fine, fine prints, including myself. In the fine print of the contract, maybe, just maybe, there's somewhere in there where it tells you that you have to work in all kind of increment weather. You may um, have to live in certain condition, the living arrangements. You may have to have, you know, five person to a room, 10 person to a room, 20 person to a room. It also might have stipulate how much you'll be paying. I'm sure it may outline all the conditions that you may meet when you go on farm working and you signed off on it saying, yes, you're willing. Now, for them to be protesting and for them to be picketing or, you know, causing an uproar over the condition that they're lived in, to me only show that these are people that's willing to stand up for themselves whether or not they need the money and they have a right to do so so to bash them because they're doing it and come out so strong against them stating that they need to be deported or dipped and and be banned from ever going back on that program again you have to be careful what you're saying it's the kina you have to be very careful i tell everyone that have a certain platform when you have a certain platform that a lot of people listen to, you have to be careful what you say on that platform because it's not only going to affect the person that you're talking about or it's not going to uh, only affect the topic that you may be um, talking about at that moment. It affects a whole lot of other people. And to say they need to get dipped and they need to get banned and never be able to go back on the program again is wrong. OK, you cannot say those type of things because it could make it worse for the program in the future. It even could get to the point where maybe Canada will cut the program from Jamaica and won't take anyone coming out of Jamaica because of this. So we have to be careful. OK, we have to be careful about the things that we are saying. It won't just affect those farm workers. It would affect 
the farm working program, period. They have a right to speak up. They are a human being. And if they're not being treated right, yes, like you said, they may have the option to come back. But you don't know under what circumstance they may be able to come back. Like I said, maybe they have to break a contract and maybe may cost them to break that contract. So they have no other, um, they have no other choice but to stay. But that does not mean they cannot highlight the problem, which is what they did. And I'm proud of them for doing that. They're standing up for themselves. They're saying, Hey, not because I need you, not because I need your money, not, not because I may come from a, a, a poor background. Don't mean you could treat me any way you want to treat me. So out of this, situation is only two things could get happen. It's the Kina. You could cause them to lose the contract to Canada altogether. Not just you, because I'm not going to say it's just you. I'm sure there was other people that spoke up about it also. And um, so I'm not going to say just you, but you are a contributor by the things that you said that could cause Jamaica to lose that farm working contract when it comes to Canada. And once the people come back home, First of all, they went there so they could be able to provide for their family. So once you're telling them to come back home, come back home, come back home, come back home with what? Come back home to how are they going to survive? How are they going to continue to feed their family? So you cannot give them such an encouragement. Instead, you need to pray for them. Pray that God will give them the strength that the situation may get better. Pray for the situation to get better. Pray that they were able to sustain and survive the environment that they're in until they're able to come back home. And that is what I would suggest to you. Okay, so I hope moving forward, sometimes you got to pick and choose what you talk about publicly and what you bash publicly. Because again, sometimes it doesn't always just affect the person you're talking to. It can also affect everyone in a whole that's in that same situation. All right. So that's all I have to say on that subject. And you guys take care. Thanks for watching. Don't forget. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and share. Go ahead. You can share. It's okay. You can share it. All right. Bye.